I'm Jordan Weeks for Biological Angle Productions with another Whiteboard Muskie segment. This is volume number nine. We've been doing this for a couple months. i uh, been very well received by you all, so thank you very much for watching. Um, this is going to be a, a description of a fish that I caught, one of my heavier fish of the year last year. It was a four-footer, uh, 48 and a half, that weighed pretty close to 30 pounds. And I caught it in a spot where um, I had not caught a muskie previously, but we had seen a number of fish. Um, the interesting thing about this particular location is that this underwater rocky point is not listed on any of the maps. So the only reason I knew it was there is because I actually ran the boat over it the first time coming in here and I hit hit, hit a rock with a trolling motor. So um, in subsequent trips, I would I kind of mapped out this spot. And this point is just typical of a great musky spot on Lake of the Woods. It's not on any map and it can really be one of those like kind of almost secret spots that hold big fish on occasion. Um, on this spot, there's a really big flat rock right here. Back behind it on shore, it's a lot of cobble, broken rock, and then out here it's a little more broken rock, but there's a really, like a two foot shallow flat rock, and that was always in my head. I knew that rock was there. You can't see it with the naked eye, the water's a little too stained for that, um, but it was one of those spots that I figured was going to be the spot that big fish was sitting on. However, I probably fished this spot 40 times and have never seen a fish on this reef. I only see fish in here. However, I know what musky habitat looks like and I don't give up in those situations when I know that these fish are going to use a particular habitat. So last year, um, came in here on the first day of the trip, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, um, and started at this location coming around the point and I saw that fish, a fish follow on my sonar. I never saw it with my eyes. I saw it on my sonar when the boat was at spot A. It came right off of this flat rock, just how I had thought it would and came out and followed the figure right around a couple times, real lazy. Um, again, I never saw it with my eyes, it was only on the sonar. So then, proceeded to fish through the spot, didn't have any other action, left and I said, you know what, that, I think that was a pretty big fish. Uh, it was kind of sitting where I'd kind of envisioned these big fish to, to live. And, you know, I would, I would suggest that if you have a hunch like that, you know a spot where it's a really big fish, or a really big fish looking spot, don't give up on it even if you fish it a lot and, and don't have any luck. So we came back that evening um, at last light and started the, started the spot again. Did exactly the same thing and that fish actually bites right here as I was turning the boat in 180 degrees. So I'd bring the boat around, I'd actually spin the boat in 180 to fish, go, go from this fishing this rocky point to fishing this cup bay and that fish actually hit as I was dragging the, I was too close to shore to cast so I was just dragging the bait in the water. and. You'll see what happens in the video. It was pretty chaotic having a 30 pound fish eat right on the surface right next to the boat, um, throwing water all over the place. It was a really fun time and it actually made me feel very happy about the hunch I had on that spot. So the moral of this story is if you got a hunch about a spot because it just looks too good, even if you haven't caught fish on it, keep after it because eventually that big one's gonna show up. Thanks a lot for watching. Just dragging it. I'll come around. No. Ready? Flip. There you go. Oh boy. Woo! 
big old fish with a B-52. Just dragging it outside the boat. I actually I finished my cast. The freaking thing ate it. Just laying next to the boat. Next B-52 walleye, whitetail walleye, dragging it by the side of the boat. <laughs> 